I like that though. So here we have it. This is one side, the newest side of the Priory. This is where the library used to be in this section. Here of course we have the church. There is of course just here on my left. No one's interest but those of us around here. Public toilets. And they're no longer accessible. They've been closed for a while. I'm gonna take a long walk around and I'll show you what a beautiful place this is. And well, I think it'd be a shame to close it down from the public view. Sure, there'll be a couple of people living there. And then they're gonna close it all off so that we, the public, can't see it anymore. Can't visit it. I'll never go back to it. No, oh, look, lovely. Nice to see the uh, nice folks have been around having fun. So, Priory Gardens. I'm trying to film too many people in case they don't want to be on here. I'll go over this way. So why am I here? Why am I showing you this? What's this got to do with flat earth? What's it got to do with education? Nice little stone here, someone's removed the plaque, lovely. Why am I here? Well, for many years, many years, at least 11, I'm coming here with my children once a year and their school. And they learn little bits about the history of the local area. For instance, the Tudors that lived here, a man called I think, Cecil Hughes. It's been here since the 13th, 13th century part of it, parts of it. I believe it's the chimney, not that one you can see, but inside there is a chimney place, fireplace, it's from the 13th century. It's been remodelled, rebuilt many times. All these little houses down the side are part of it. it. Used to be. These are houses and things now. But yeah, anyway, I've been coming here a long time with my children. I think it's important. Children from all over the borough come here and learn these things. And I have no great love for the royalty, the Tudors, the Victorians and such. But it's important we don't forget this stuff. Ever. Don't forget who they are and what they did. Look at this big old stone over there, just to remind people of how old this place is. <laughs> Maybe we'll look at that in a minute, show you the gardens a bit more. A lot of history here. And they want to close it off. They've already closed the library over there, moved it up further into town, in a boring modern building, which everybody just wanders past without noticing. I used to come here, read books, hire them out. I spent time here. Seems to change, just turn them all into facts. I never know, see about it, I think about it, out of sight, out of mind, and all that. Also, um, not right now, at some point, I have a letter. I wrote it to the school about some problems one of my children was having. I never sent it. I was never brave enough. I tell you now, I'm going to finish that letter. I'm going to take it to the school. And I'm going to let them know exactly how I feel. And then I'm going to send it to Joe Johnson, our local MP. And then I'll send one to the Prime Minister. And anyone I have to, I'll read it open on my channel to everyone who would care to listen. I will, I'm not going to stand around and do nothing anymore. I will do something. Or I will try. I 
I've loved this place a long time. It's very peaceful, people are friendly, and I never realised until recently that Orpington is my home. And I will help try and protect it. I have vague memories, vague. But I'm pretty sure I came here as a child myself. Five or six, seven or eight, something like that. It was the other side of the borough, and we came over on a coach. I remember spending the day and going back. It's been happening for a long time for a lot of children, all over this borough and outside of this borough. I would try and protect it if I could. There's plenty of space to build houses. They don't have to go here on top of our heritage. Whether we like that heritage or not. I won't keep you much longer, we'll just have a walk around a bit more. I'll show you that big rock and I'm going home. We can sit around talking about it, there's nothing more I'd like to do. What's the school? We must, we must try and do something. <laughs> can we see this? Bromley Millennium Rock. It's a metamorphic rock over 2,000 million years old. It's one of the oldest rocks in the British Isles. <clears throat> Infant school. Looks like bloody tombstone. So, it's a beautiful priory through the trees, blossom blooming all around. This place is full of squirrels and all sorts of wildlife. We have a pond down the road, a park just down the road there. I'll say the road, it's inside the park. This is a part of our local community. And they mean to take it away from us. As they take everything away from us. We must try and stop it. it doesn't belong to them. We have to do is type in Priory Orpington to Google or any other search engine. You can find out pages of history of this place. Pages. So good night, Mr. Squirrels. Thanks for listening. Peace and luck.